Hey guys, welcome to another BIM Everyday Tutorial. Today I wanted to talk about how to make this line-based detail item. So what you see here, uh, it basically looks like just filled regions, but what they really are is a detail line, or a line-based detail item, that has a filled region built into it. So uh, follow along, and let's learn how to make this. So the first thing you want to do is just create a new family. So go to New, Family, then find the detail item line based and hit open. So the first thing you'll see here is a length parameter attached to this reference line. So if I drag it you can see the length changes. And then a reference line. And what this family is and how it's different than other families is that you don't just place it and it's static. What you do is you place it with two clicks. One click will be here, and the second click will be the endpoint of the detail line. So uh, let's get started here. So go up to create and do a filled region. And just draw or use pick lines. And what you want to do is just click on lock, save yourself a step, and just click on the three reference planes here the, the left one the right one and then the horizontal one then just trim it up by uh, going to trim up here or pressing TR then go back to pick lines and for our instance we're going to be drawing a gypsum wall so I'm going to offset this 5 eighths of an inch so I'll just type in 5 eighths here and hover over so that the dash line appears on the top and just click then what you want to do is go over to trim again and just trim this up so it's a rectangle now since we use pick lines on the reference lines these lines are locked but there's no reference line here so we just want to dimension it based off of this reference plane so it'll always be 5 eighths of an inch away so go over here actually first uh, yes click on align dimensions click on the horizontal reference plane then click on this detail line here and set the dimension then just click lock and you're all set Hit escape and click on the green check so then you can see here there's some diagonal cross hatch so let's see this a little better by changing the scale and zoom back in so select this again and then you'll see here you have your filled regions and these are all the standard filled regions that come with this family so for our instance we're doing gypsum so just click on gypsum and it'll give you the the hatch for gypsum now of course this is where you would want to change the filled region to your company's standards you might use a a different pattern than than what I'm showing here so either way you can just select the filled region go to edit type and in the filled pattern here just open it up and pick whatever hatch you want so I'm just gonna leave this so I'm not gonna do anything and hit cancel so now we can name this whatever we want I like to call it gypsum line 5 eighths of an inch um, if you want to create a parameter because maybe you use 5 eighths of an inch and then in other places you use half inch so if you want to create a parameter where you can change the width of this um, you can just select this, go back into Edit Boundary, select the dimension we made earlier, and come up here to Label, and then do Add Parameter. I'll just put in W for Width. Uh, leave it on Type, and Group under Parameter, leave that under Dimension. So I hit OK. Then you can see here, now it's 5 eighths of an inch, or it says W equals 5 eighths of an inch. So if I only want this to be a half, I can just click in here, click again and then do half inch and you can see that got a little smaller but I want this to be 5 8 so I'm gonna go back up here to the family types and the reason why this is blank up here where it says name is because no family is defined so the first thing I'll do is I'll go over here to family types click on new and I'll just call this 5 8 of an inch and hit OK and then I'll change my width here to 5 8 If I want to make another type that's a half inch, I can just create new type here, type in half inch, 
and then change the width to half inch. Hit OK. And then when I change, when I go back and I change the family type, you can see here that this is changing. Now it'll get smaller, but I'll leave it on 5 eighths. Now we just want to bring this into a project, so I don't currently have anything open, so I'm just going to create a new project. And I'll use my template, hit OK. Flip back to, well first I want to create a detail view. So I'll just go to view, um, drafting view. And I'll just, I'll just leave it at drafting one, half inch scale is OK. So hit OK. Then I'll flip back to my gypsum line. I'll load this into the project. Switch over to my drafting view. Now, when you want to place a drafting view, you have to go to the annotate, or I'm sorry, a uh, detail item. You want to go to annotate, and then detail component, and then the last family that I loaded in will show up. So, like I said before, just click once and hold shift, or if you want, if you want it to be straight, and just click. And there you have it. This actually is not going to join like walls, so you can sort of use this to your advantage if you want to show a corner like this. If, you're, if your company normally has a certain way that you show corners, you can show it like that, and that, that will be how you normally draft it. And this will really speed up your uh, workflow here rather than drawing um, a filled region every time. You have this, you have this very easily editable line here. It could snap into place. I don't think you can trim it, but let me see. Look at that. You can trim it too, just like a wall or a line. So I hope this helps. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it. And if it helped you in any way, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks.